What's my favorite word? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Why I face you? Yeah, you know me. Yeah. I'm a clean sweet stepper. ATL rapper, clean sweet stepper. My people, my people, my people, my people. What it is, I am T Ward, YFHB. I'm back up in this thing, man. What is YouTube? What it is? What's happening with y'all this day today? I know, I know, I know, I know before y'all ask, where have you been, T Ward? Where have you been, T Ward? Where have you been, YFHB? Worst case, you has been crazy. Z, I mean crazy with a K crazy. My worst schedule has changed three times within the last two months. So it's it's hard to stay consistent with anything. You know what I'm saying? If your schedule changing that much. As you can see, my box over here. Um, even though that I, I haven't been making video, I, had, I still have been copying sneakers and I just got a pile right here. I think it's like nine or ten sneakers right here just piled up that I haven't even unboxed. All my OG subs know that if I've been gone for a long period of time, it has something to do with work. But that's enough of that right there. Y'all came to see these early sneakers, man. Um, Caught these early sneakers by, um, caught me by surprise. I didn't know, I know they was dropping. I just happened to be on IG and saw the link, clicked onto the link and wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am at my doorstep. But before I get to this unboxing of these early uh, sneakers, um, I did get a package from my guy, M. Thompson, his IG it is MT Visuals with a Z at the end. I'm gonna put it um, somewhere down in this video. While they hit me up an email, said he wanted to send me a painting. And um, what's, what's this post dated? In June, this was posted dated in June. Wow, this over like two months ago. That's how these I mean. Go on and open this on up. All right, gonna cut both sides and this side is blank. Flip it over right here. Oh man, this right here is clean. I'm gonna have to get this. I'm definitely gonna have to put this in the frame. That right there is dope, man. This right here is dope. As you can see, this is a um, painting of the Jordan Fours, man. And instead of the jump man, he has his logo. Right here, man. He went all detail with this, man. I mean, the 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 smudges, everything, man. This right here is dope. I'm definitely putting this in the frame, man. This gonna have to go back here on the wall somewhere, right here, man. Shout out to you, M. Thompson, man. I appreciate that, AKA MT Visuals, man. Sorry it took me so long to open this, man. You sent this about two months ago, so again, huge shout out to you, man. This right here is dope, man. A frame to put this in a cell man. This right here is dope. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video, and that is a early pickup, man. Didn't know unboxing so long, man. It feels kind of kind of weird. I wonder if I still got it. The T Wars still got it. Let's see. <laughs> but anyway, this came from Ara BSTN. They say overseas store, and I think Europe. I think, if I'm not mistaken, and BSTN. Why? I just want to know why. Why do y'all have to put this on y'all box? What what's the purpose, man? What's the purpose? If it ain't Nike putting the uh, 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 the swoosh on there with the just do it tape, is y'all putting this mess right here on the box? What if I was a teenage kid, right? What if I was a teenage kid? 12, 13, you know what I'm talking about? 12, 13, and my parents go to the door and pick this up and they see this, especially if they Christian folks, church going folk like my mama is. She gonna be like, whoa, 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 what that says? What is this? What you got going on, son? You get something sent like this to the house, what it is? The first time I ordered from them, BSTN, they sent me this same box with the same saying. I thought it was just a fluke. Maybe it was the last box that they had, and um, they just had to send send the box out with it. Um, but obviously, that is not it. 
this is the norm um, to send the box out just like this. We can open the box up. And, and, and I'm gonna get to the shoe in a minute. I forgot about this part. This also was on the other box too. Again, why BSN? What is what is going on over there? What is going on? This how y'all do it over there. And here it is, man. I like this box. This is the first box I've seen. This color. And this is the uh, Raw Air Jordan 3 SE Special Edition. This is in a size 10. And the color spectrum is white, fire red, and black. And it doesn't have the um, currency on the side of it because it came from Europe. So the US, it doesn't make sense to put the US um, uh, retail value on it when it didn't come from the US. So, like I said, I just happened to be on Twitter one night and they dropped these. Numbers. Anyway, enough talking, let's get to it. We got the elephant print paper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, let's see. Uh-huh. Okay, these ain't these ain't that bad at all. These ain't that bad at all. The air Jordan 3 denim because it's denim on the, the heel and on the front of the toe. On the picture and on the on the side of the laces. And on the pictures it's kind of hard to tell if it's denim, but when you get in the hand, you definitely see the denim and these are not bad at all not bad I ain't gonna say they the top Jordan threes up there but they they not they not bad at all I think when a lot of y'all get this in hand this may be an impulse buy or just like it was for me um I seen the early sneaker let me go ahead and pick it up it went from an impulse buy like uh, eh, eh, it can go both ways to a oh Okay then, I'm, I'm glad I picked it up, you know what I'm saying? So let's take a closer look at these Jordan Denim 3s. So the first thing you see as I get closer to the cameras is you see them chill bumps, man. Do y'all see them chill bumps? Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Burr! As you can see on the side panel, you have this tumbleness going on. No, that's not a word. It's a T-waterism. <laughs> then you go to the front of the toe box you still see how consistent that tumble action is going and here you have the signature elephant print but they did a little different as the shoe is stated is the Jordan 3 denim um, they use the denim material along with with the elephant print that denim is hitting on this sneaker man and on the medial side you have the same thing the consistency with the tumble um the tumbleness <laughs> the tumbleness and then uh, on the back heel you have the uh elephant print on the back heel as well in denim but this is my favorite part of the shoe which made me really want this shoe is this the first time they did this i know i've seen it on like um the the bags and the the shorts and the um, apparel and everything but i hadn't seen it on actually on the back of a heel of the shoe where the nike air is in back along with um the jordan jumpman logo with a clear heel tab i think that was clean that was a great idea for them to do this that really what made me want to get this shoe man let me put it on let me put it on let me put it on anybody that know me knows he wants to know there's two things I'm a hype beast about. One is my city, and the other one is Nike Air tatted on back of them cheeks, man. Now, with, now with that being said, Nike, please do not get carried away with putting Nike on the back of none OG sneakers. I'd like for Nike to keep the Nike on back of the OG sneakers to keep that nostalgia going. It, it, it means something, you know what I'm saying? It means something because it's what MJ actually wore. And it's a reason why um, a lot of us that bought sneakers back in the day, they had a jump man on back, going to this present day is buying the same as that sneaker. And the only difference is, is that it has the Nike Air on back. It's because that's what MJ wore. MJ didn't wear it 
with the jump man on back it means something even though i like this this is dope this is dope how y'all did this again nike please do not get carried away with putting nike on none og sneakers i'm begging you please 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 don't do it thank you your loyal customer with this heel tag, I'm gonna give y'all a closer look of what Nike actually did. Usually, the Nike Air is embossed, but instead, they took the Nike with the swoosh and they painted on the back of the heel, and they just embossed this clear um, Jumpman with the Air. This is what made the shoe to me. I think it's hella clever, hella dope, the way they did it. That right there, by itself, man, the tab, the heel tab, by itself made these some Clean, seen, steppers, man. I'm kind of all over the place when I'm pointing out the different materials with the stickers, but just follow the T-Wars the drip. I really, really do appreciate it. So, right here you have your red ankle collar with the perforated holes here. That thunder, it's thunder. Um, inside of the shoe you have um, your black sock liner, footbed of the shoe, you have um, the Nike Air stamped on the footbed. The SC sneakers um, threes, the tongue is made a little bit different than the OG threes, like the cement threes that came out. The tongue is wider and fatter than these. These are slimmer and sleeker. All right, you have your um, white laces. They call it Aglix, oh, I, if I said that right, but I'm called, I call them lace holders. Um, also with the lace holder, you have your section right here where you have your denim right here with your white lace holder. And then you have your black lace holder here as well. Your leather tongue with the perforated holes that leads up to this, um, your red Jumpman. The 2020 Jumpman looks a whole lot better than the previous versions of the Jumpman. Today, this looks real clean. Chris, you can tell technology has come a long way. On the sides, you have your two-tone midsole with the white hair, black leaves on to the back of the heel, same leading to the medial um, side of the sneaker. You have your traditional um, air unit, air bubble, as you would call it. Um, bottom of the sneaker, it is all white, black pod, Nike Air in the middle. So, um, one thing I did notice, they didn't come with a hang tag. Let me check this in. Um, No, it didn't come with a hang tag, which is not a big deal, but I think they should've did something like this, gave us a clear hang tag that was something similar, similar to, to this with the Nike Air in the background with the Jumpman um, and Boss. That would've been dope, but not a, a deal breaker to me. Another thing they should've, it's two more things that they should've did. Um, the other thing is, I think they should have gave us an extra set of laces, maybe a red pair or a black pair, maybe. Um, but you can get them from um, other sneakers like ones that, to put in here. I'm sure somebody gonna do that. Other thing I think they should have did, I don't know if I would have went with the all white sole. I think it, even though it's, it's, it's not bad on this sneaker, but to make it pop a little bit more, I think they should have went with a um, clear or icy clear, icy translucent sole bottom, or they could have went with red. Either either one of those would have been dope. I probably myself, between the two, I probably would have went with red. I think the red um, bottom would have made these hit even more than what they are. But like I said, man, I think y'all gonna be hella surprised when y'all get these in hand, man. Hey, my people, I need y'all to go follow my guy, Jay Cash. He's a up and coming YouTuber. He's new to the game, but he's gonna bring a little something different. Um, he's a manager at a sneaker store here in Atlanta. And I don't know, I'm trying to think, is there any other uh, YouTubers, sneaker YouTuber that actually manages at stores? Uh, I can't think of any, he's the first one that I can think of. So he can give you um, more of the managerial side, give you firm um, release dates, give you early looks at sneakers. So make sure y'all go and show my guy, Jay Cash and Love. All you gotta do is click the link, man. Click the link down there, go follow him, man. Tell him the t wars to sent you, man. Go follow him right now, man. And now, with all that being said, all I need you to do is hit that like, Subscribe and comment. Tell me what you think, man. 
about the Jordan 3 denims. Are y'all copping when they come out? I believe they come out um, August 27th. I'm telling y'all, these are not as bad as what you may think. I am very, 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 very impressed. Very, very impressed with these in hand. But most of all, most of all, man, if this is your first time watching the T War YFHB YouTube channel, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. What I need you to do is go back into my archives, watch my past videos, and once you do that, come back, hit that subscribe button, and next to that subscribe button is a bell. And I need you to rock that bell in that corner, man, so you can be a part of the clean scene stepping. Notification squad, man. Until then, I'm a holler like a dollar. Straight out Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, I am man. the T Watster. Hey, Bringing y'all the heat I with like I'm the Georgia Scorcher. <laughs> Waiting for the stars, bruh. Now, bruh, that's that torture. I get the kicks so quick, think they delivered in a Porsche. But I didn't pay retail. No, no, no. no. If I get them, then I got them for the low, low, low. Yeah, like Mike say, get your some. Yeah, get yeah, them stripper ones, and I need my size 10. Double up, my friend. Why your face be? I'm the top again, the trend. Yeah, yeah. Why your face be? Yeah, 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 you know me. Yeah, yeah. I'm an ATL rapper. Extra mean and my clean sleeve stepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why your face be? Yeah, you know me. Yeah.